Peace fam, I hope you guys had a good week so far. It's the Pressure Cooker and I'm back with another video. This is gonna be a quick video. Um, I was listening to somebody's video um, tonight and they made some comments. So I just wanted to like check in about it and share my thoughts about it. It was regarding the conversation about the word triggered and how people say sometimes that they feel triggered. Now, according to this person, they were saying that they felt the person was being fake because the person who said they were being triggered had, are, is not the one who experienced the initial trauma. And I just wanted to come on here and say that's not necessarily true all the time. Now, obviously, if you're the one who has been through the trauma, <laughs> your triggers are going to be more directly related to what you've been through. But other people can also get triggered by other people's traumas. You don't have to be there. You don't have to um, have been present. You don't even have to really know the person. You could be triggered by somebody's trauma. I'm going to give you some scenarios where it's pretty common. So first of all, we're going to start very basic. All you got to do is have compassion. If you're a human being with compassion, you can be triggered by the details of somebody else's trauma. So assuming you know the details... Um, hearing certain things, whether you've been through something traumatic or not, could be very, very upsetting to certain people and it can make them shut down or not want to hear it or just, just not feel really good. So just anybody could be triggered. Now, the level of, of how you're triggered depends on a lot of other factors. The other scenarios where you could be, uh, triggered by somebody else's trauma is vicarious trauma. Now this can happen in many ways, but a lot of people don't realize one of the simple ways that we can be. Um, affected by vicarious trauma, which means you're not the one necessarily going through the trauma, but you witness it or you hear about it, okay, is the news. So if you watch a whole bunch of news that's always covering a bunch of violence and all the horrible things in the world, if you just listen to that nonstop, you could be affected by vicarious trauma, which means, you you know, again, these things might not be happening to you, but your your frequent consumption of them could affect you. This is also the case with first responders, police officers, doctors, or therapists, right? So um, when I was working in a department where all I did was trauma therapy, I, I had to be very aware of vicarious trauma because all I, literally all I was listening to with 30 clients, 25 to 30 clients a week was trauma. That was like my job was to work with trauma uh, survivors. So I couldn't watch the news at times. It was just, there was a lot of stuff that would set me off. I used to love watching Law and Order and the ID channel. And when I was working that job, I had to cut a lot of that stuff out because it's just, otherwise it would feel like I'm working all the time and it will affect my mental health. Another category of how you could be triggered and you're not the one experiencing the trauma is if you're an empath. If you're an empath, you know, one of the theories is that we have overactive mirror neurons, which means everybody has, um, unless um, there's some things going on with you, we're not going to get into what those things are. Most people are going to have empathy and they're going to have mirror neurons. So if you see somebody else crying, you might be sad. If you see somebody else happy, unless you're hating ass bitch, you're going to be happy too. You know, that's what mirror neurons are from my understanding. So with an empath, um, the theory is that they're overactive. So that's the reason why it's very easy to absorb other people's stuff. Um, and there's, you know, I've done a lot of videos on this before, but anyway, the point with an empath is yes, if somebody else is triggered, you're going to probably feel it more. I mean, somebody else went through trauma and you're hearing the details of it. You're, you're going to be impacted by it probably more depending on how, what your personal traumas are or the way you are perceiving the information. Okay. The other thing is it's important to remember and know that the more uh, traumas you have, so like if you didn't just experience a single trauma, but you have complex trauma, which is multiple traumas in your life, I think the more easily somebody could get triggered. So that's something else to factor in. So let's say, for example, somebody experienced witnessing domestic violence, homelessness, and, you know, a car accident. That's three traumas, right? Now, they can easily be more triggered by somebody else who has gone through a trauma that has nothing to do with their trauma. The other person could have been sexually assaulted. Trauma is a very tricky thing and it affects different parts of us. And so again, this is why I wanted to share this because I think it's important. 
The other thing is, guys, let's talk about triggers in general. So you could be triggered by any of the five senses. So something you smell, something you see, something you hear, something you taste, somebody touching you, those could all be triggers. And also, triggers could also be related to any person, place, or thing. So going to a certain place or, or going on the way to a certain place, landmarks, um, certain people, even if they're not the people, they might remind you of the person and certain things and objects. So I just want to give you a quick crash course on triggers. Um, this is not to shade the other person. I understand what they were saying. They were like, well, how are you going to be triggered if you weren't the one experiencing the trauma? But that's not the case. I think sometimes we're quick to dismiss people. You know, sure. I, I, I'm going to be honest. I didn't listen to, I think the person in question was, it was related to something with, with, um, Kimmy and Lex Max Real, I have not, I don't know when and, um, where Lex Max said this. Um, it's been rumored that she didn't really see the Kimmy video. I don't know. And I also don't care, but I know that when I hear certain information, I just want to come on here and, and give my two cents because it could be very misleading for other people. Anyway, that's all I got to say. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm not sure if I'll be back on for the weekend, but I'll come back next week with some tea and discussions for you guys. Also, I'm going to be collabing with Sister Crystal. Um, we're going to be talking more about gener intergenerational trauma. So I'll keep you guys posted on that. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.